Let's check the touch sensitivity on your iPhone. Now, if you're on your iPhone and you're tapping on something, but it's maybe not working, or you're tapping and holding, and it is maybe not registering that tap and hold, or it's doing it too often, I'm gonna show you how to check that sensitivity and how to change it if you want. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, the first thing I would recommend doing is downloading and installing a really simple app here. So let's go to the app store here and we're gonna type in touch screen test. And you can tap on the very first one and download it, the touch screen check here. So open it up and this will allow you to test and see whether you have any issues. So if I tap on it, it should change colors, the number of touches should change and the XY coordinates should change. You can also tap and hold your finger on it and move it around and you'll be able to see the XY coordinates change. And when I lift it up, it'll register that tap. Now, this is the first thing that you can do to determine whether you have any issues on the touchscreen on your phone. But if you don't like the sensitivity, you can always change it by opening up your settings here on your phone and then scrolling down and we're gonna tap on accessibility. And then right under physical and motor, let's tap on touch here. Now on here, you can see touch accommodations. If you're having trouble using your touch screen, adjust and following settings to change how it will respond. So on here, I can choose to toggle on touch accommodations. If I wanted to, it says touch accommodation changes. Um, are you sure you want to continue? I'm gonna hit cancel here but you can also change the hold duration. So it says the duration you must touch and hold the screen before a touch is recognized. So if it is too sensitive, you can turn this on and increase that duration. Say you need to hold it for 0.3 seconds for it to register that touch. You can also choose to ignore repeat taps. So if you're tapping more than one time, it can always ignore those repeat taps. You can also use this tap assistance to use either the initial touch on your iPhone or the final touch. Again, if you're using your finger and you're kind of touching multiple different places at you know rapid paces, then it will just use the final touch or the initial touch. Now, you might want to just turn off all of these and hit off here and just go back to the default iPhone touch options. So by turning off all of them, you won't modify or change anything. Essentially, this goes back to the default touch screen sensitivity that the iPhone has built in. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks, guys.